Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm going to speak about motions that you can perform while doing computer work to help to lessen the possibility of getting a computer work related injury. Computers are a way of life. We're constantly using our computers. If it's a desktop or a laptop, it doesn't matter. You still want to use motions to help to prevent and to lessen the possibility of getting a computer work-related injury. Motion is essential. Our bodies are designed to be in motion. We are engineered for movement. Sitting for long periods of time at the computer, even if you are in a good position, is unnatural for the human body. Injuries occur from sitting for too long and for doing repetitive motions. These repetitive motions and prolonged sitting are a combination that leads to computer work-related injuries. The combination of performing motions at the computer workstation with frequent breaks and proper ergonomics is going to lower the potential of acquiring a computer work-related injury. Computer work-related injuries are often called repetitive stress injuries or repetitive strain injuries. These injuries can be nerve entrapment conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome, thoracic outlet syndrome, or cubital tunnel syndrome. These injuries can be tendinopathies. They can also be impingements on a tendon, which would be subacromial impingement syndrome. It can also be sprain strains. We see that in the neck all the time. Also, you can get conditions where it is a wrist sprain strain, also tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. The injuries that are named are only a small number of possible computer work-related injuries. The best thing about these injuries is that they are preventable in most cases and they are manageable in most cases and you can recover from these conditions in most cases. To prevent these injuries, you want to make sure you have proper ergonomics, you want to make sure you take frequent breaks and that you perform motions at the computer workstation. Now these motions, they're dynamic motions. You want to take a break every 15 or 20 minutes to stand up, move your neck around, move your shoulders, move your elbows, move your wrist, move your hips, move your pelvis, and then sit back down in proper position. If you're going to take breaks every 15 minutes, then do it 15, 30, and 45, and then at the hour get up and walk around for a short amount of time. If you're going to take your breaks every 20 minutes, stand up, stretch, move around, move the shoulders, again, move the elbows, wrists, and hands and fingers, break the static positioning. Performing motions at the computer workstation will help to decrease muscle tension, it will help to increase blood flow, and it will help to lower the possibility of getting a computer work-related injury. What I always tell people to do is, when you take your micro break, stand up, close your eyes, or focus on an object that is far away, and each time that you take a break, you move a different body part. It can be your wrist moving side to side, moving them up and down, splaying your fingers, moving your elbows so that you are straightening them and bending them, turning your forearms up and down, pulling the shoulder blades backwards, you can do arm circles, you can move your hips and your pelvis, you can perform neck motions where you are bending side to side, turning side to side, you are doing neck circles, you are bending your neck backwards. There are many, many options that you can perform. Each time that you perform a motion, do a different one. If you have a trouble area, concentrate on that one a little bit more. These motions should be performed slowly in a controlled manner. You don't have to do stretching exercises where you're holding the stretch, what is called a static stretch. These are more dynamic motions when you are moving slowly in a controlled manner. This will help to decrease muscle tension and increase blood flow. When we are sitting for a long time, 
the muscles become stagnant because they are tight and there is a lack of blood flow going to those muscles. So standing up and moving the muscles is going to increase blood flow and decrease muscle tension. Again, if you have a trouble area, concentrate on that. Say if it's your neck, every other time you take a break, move your neck. Move your neck side to side, turn your neck in each direction, bend your neck backwards. If you can protract your neck, which is moving straight backwards, those are all motions that are going to help with the neck. You always want to make sure that you move through a pain-free range of motion. Never perform a motion that elicits symptoms or intensifies symptoms. Also, you can perform nerve slide exercises. I'm going to put some links to the videos in the comments section where you can see me performing nerve slides. And also, I may put a link at the end of this video for a carpal tunnel nerve slide. I am a firm believer that motion is the best medicine. You have to keep moving. Like I stated before, the human body is designed for movement. We are engineered to be moving. Sitting for a long period of time at a computer workstation performing repetitive motions is unnatural to the human body and creates a large potential for injury. Keep moving. Take frequent breaks. Move different body parts. Break the static positioning. Thank you everyone for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report, where I went over motions that can be performed at the computer workstation to help to lower the potential of getting a repetitive stress injury. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running maximize performance and minimize injuries. If you want to learn more about my book, you can go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com. Also at my website, I have my blog. On the blog, there are articles about spine health, sports medicine, health and fitness. Please feel free to like this video. Also, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello. DC. Please, if you have suggestions, feedback, or questions, leave them in the comments section below. And always remember, train hard, train smart, get adequate rest between training sessions, utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you, stay injury-free, and accomplish your goals.